we cannot ignore the ethical and moral ramifications of combining species at the molecular level. Because this is the most radical thing that has ever happened to breeding plants or animals or other life forms. This is similar to the splitting of the atom. You better show me it's safe. If you can't do that, then you can't bring it in. To some people, they think it's just a tiny risk, but it's a huge risk because we don't know what it's going to do. Having corporations control the ability to violate genomes and let them out into our natural world, who's playing God here? As long as these crops are grown in open fields, the risk of contaminating the food supply is great. If something goes wrong with GMOs, it could mean devastating things for the food supply. This is a whole industry that's going to threaten all of us on every island and all of our biodiversity. We're really fighting an unholy alliance made up of very powerful and wealthy transnational corporations. But our own state of Hawaii, which is allowing it and facilitating it, so it's really a major David and Goliath fight. They're poisoning our aina, they're poisoning our ohanas, they're poisoning the place that we love. We knew nothing on the island of Molokai about GMO until one day there was, there was a rumor that there was strange things being grown in our cornfields. The whole farming community on Molokai was changing and we didn't even know. In the 1990s, multinational chemical corporations such as DuPont, Monsanto, Dow, they bought up thousands and thousands of small seed companies. So now our farmlands were being turned into experimental plots, research plots. They were growing things that we could not eat. We were growing things that we didn't even understand. We found that Hawaii had been targeted as a national and international sacrifice area for biotech and genetic modification research and the largest multinational companies in the world, Monsanto, Dow, DuPont, Syngenta, were all here using Hawaiian soils to do the very highly experimental crop production. Then we said, well, who are these guys? Who is this Monsanto? Who is this Dow? So you go Google and you find out, whoa, these are full-on chemical companies. They're not farmers. They're the guys who produce Agent Orange, PCBs. Well, we're here in Kihei at the Monsanto facility, one of the Monsanto facilities. Very controversial here on Maui. Uh, that's Pioneer headquarters down there. DuPont Corporation. This sign says this is Hawaiian research because they shame put their name, Monsanto. Now these companies call themselves life science companies and they are genetically engineering and patenting the foods of the world, beginning with the grain crops that everyone needs to live. Here in Hawaii is ground zero for testing of genetically engineered crops. In the past 10 years or so, we have had here more than 2,000 field tests of experimental genetically engineered crops. And this is more than any other place in the world. Most of these field tests have been food crops like corn, soybeans, but some of them have been tests of experimental crops designed to produce drugs and industrial compounds. None of the corn you can eat, okay? None of the corn you can eat. What exactly is genetic engineering?
Genetic engineering is nothing more than taking the genes from one species, or even the same species, and putting it in the other organism, man to man, or man to goat, or man to tomato. You can do this in plants, you can do this in humans. So the concept is pretty good if things work as they're supposed to work. But what could go wrong? They were actually forcing, forcing foreign things into foreign things. So you get animals crossing with plants. Other animals, they've been putting human genetics into the plant. This is not done in the natural world. In fact, in the natural world, nature has put up all kinds of barriers to prevent this from happening. They're making monsters. They're genetically modifying organisms that nature would never cross. And they don't know how the result will come out. Although the genetic engineers would like you to think that their techniques are extremely precise, it is very, very different than that. What they do is they coat little balls of tungsten or gold with genetic material, and they literally fire these little balls with a, with a gun at a petri dish of cells. Well, it's blasted in, biolistics. All kinds of things get rearranged in the cell. And God help you if you blast it onto a gene which is essential, which you need. And, but in the process, they're adding things like antibiotic-resistant genes. If that gets out, gets onto germs, then the germs become resistant. We have a bad problem with drug resistance, antibiotic resistance. They cannot assure us that it's safe for our community. They cannot assure us that it's safe for our children. These things are not benign. These things are quite unknown. These guys are shooting in the dark. These guys are shooting blind. GMOs have entered 70 to 75 percent of processed supermarket food here in the United States. It's in processed soy, processed corn, that includes corn syrup, canola oil, all kinds of things. And we don't know what it's doing to our children. It hasn't been tested. Genetically engineered food can into the market with almost no testing done whatsoever. I'm used to testing drugs and vaccines, efficacy and safety. How does one show safety? You give, you give me a new product. I take it to the lab, I grow it with little bacteria, I take it to animals, then I take it to humans. These kind of studies we do for drugs and vaccines are exactly what genetically engineered food needs. We act what we call on the precautionary principle. The precautionary principle tells us we do not put things into human body or into the environment, especially irreversible things, life forms, that we don't know about. When the FDA says we know about these things, I, I question that. I don't see the data. There aren't studies being done to look into it. Show me the data, human data. There is none. If you don't look, you're not going to be able to see the National Academy of Science has been saying for years that genetic engineering generally and biopharmaceutical crops in particular pose definite risks to the food supply and human health and the environment. And to a large extent, these warnings have gone unheeded. The industry will say that no harm has been shown. Well, gee, what have we seen increasing in the last 10 years in Hawaii? A lot more prematurity, attention deficit disorder, a lot of different kinds of cancers. We see uh, adult onset diabetes in young children. They're going to say, you can't prove it from this. Thing. I didn't say that. You said, industry said, we don't see anything rising. We certainly do in the last 10 years. And I can't piece it together because it's not labeled.